All right. Now we are looking at question number thirty-three from chapter sixteen of S. C. Verma Concepts of Physics. Okay. So two coherent slits emitting sound of wavelength lambda in the same phase are placed parallel to each other at a small separation of two lambda. Okay. So in the diagram it's not clear, but this distance is actually two lambda. Okay. Between S one and S two. Now what does the question say next? The sound is detected by a moving detector on the screen sigma at a distance capital D. Capital D is much greater than lambda. Okay, from the slit S one is shown in the figure. So here is your screen sigma. Okay, and the de detector will move along this path. Okay, find the distance x such that the intensity at P is equal to the intensity at O. Now they are saying that find the intensity at P. but they are saying that it is equal to intensity at o so our first question actually is what is the intensity at point o okay so let's see that now suppose we look at the sound coming from s1 so the sound will start from s1 and will reach point o similarly one more sound will start from s2 and will reach point o so for the two paths for this wave and this wave what is the path difference so the path difference At O will be how much? It will be equal to S one O minus S two O, and that will be equal to S one S two, and that is equal to two lambda. Okay. Now the thing is that since this is an integral multiple of lambda, so we are getting a constructive interference. We are getting a constructive interference. At Correct. So now we have found what type of intensity is there at O. The intensity at O is constructive. That is, we have maximum intensity. So now we want the point P to have maximum intensity. That is, the point P should also have constructive interference. Okay. So now let's discuss the point P. Okay. So the sound wave starting from S1 will reach the point P, and the sound starting from S2 will also reach the point. p like this okay now if you observe something since uh, this distance s1 s2 okay the distance 2 lambda is much smaller than capital d in the question it is given right in the question it is given d is much greater than lambda so this horizontal path is much larger than the this length over here so basically we could easily assume that the angle theta over here let's call this angle theta this angle theta will be extremely small okay the angle theta is extremely small now let's say this angle over here is alpha okay and let's drop a perpendicular over here okay so this angle is 90 degrees okay now this angle theta is extremely small since the angle theta is small so we could say that uh, this length s2p is approximately equal to this length over here okay they are almost equal all right so therefore now if we observe this triangle over here okay if we observe this triangle then we could easily say that this length over here will be equal to s1 s2 cos alpha okay so this length is equal to s1 s2 into cos alpha so what is s1 s2 equal to 2 lambda so 2 lambda cos alpha okay so now the path difference at p is what path difference at p will be s1 p minus s2 p s1 p minus s2 p so that will be equal to how much that will be equal to this length that is 2 lambda cos alpha so we get 2 2 lambda cos alpha so basically we want this 2 lambda cos alpha to be an integral multiple of lambda right now the interesting thing is that cos alpha cannot be more than 1 it can only be less than 1 Okay, so there are two possibilities. How do you obtain integral multiple of uh, lambda? 
सो टू लैमडा कॉस अल्फा शुड बी इक्वल टू एन दैट मीन्स कॉस अल्फा शुड बी इक्वल टू एन बाई टू नाउ कॉस अल्फा शुड बी लेस देन वन लेस देन और इक्वल टू वन सो देर आर थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज आइदर एन इक्वल टू टू और एन इक्वल टू वन और एन इक्वल टू जीरो दैट सेट नाउ एन इक्वल टू टू इज ऑलरेडी नोन एन इक्वल टू टू विल बी सॉरी एन इक्वल टू वेन यू पुट एन इक्वल टू टू देन कॉस अल्फा विल बी वन दैट मीन्स अल्फा विल बी जीरो सो एन इक्वल टू टू इज द केस एट ओ एन इक्वल टू विल बी एट ओ so the next possibility remains n equal to 1 and n equal to 0 now if you think about n equal to 0 n equal to 0 means cos alpha is 0 okay so alpha will be 90 degree okay so this is at point o this will be at some angle and this will be at 90 degrees angle so obviously our point p is not uh, at 90 degree it is somewhere in between so we are left with only one option that is n equal to 1 this will be at point p so at the point p path difference is how much cos alpha is equal to now first of all cos alpha will be 1 by 2 so path difference at the point p will be how much path difference will be 2 lambda into 1 by 2 so that is equal to lambda all right now we have to find x so let's look at the triangle again so if you look at the triangle s1 p o okay triangle s1 p o s1 p o so in this triangle what is tan alpha equal to tan alpha will be equal to the perpendicular is x and the base is how much the base will be capital d correct so let's use this cos alpha is 1 by 2 okay tan alpha is x by d so tan alpha is x by capital d cos alpha is 1 by 2 okay so if cos alpha is 1 by 2 that means alpha equal to 60 degree so tan 60 degree tan alpha will be tan 60 degree is equal to x by capital d so tan 60 is how much root 3 equal to x by capital d so we obtain x equal to d root 3 so this will be your final answer okay